okay, so I've been checking it out. It's not too bad. Pulled the top up, of course it's raggedy. Not too bad, not too bad. Just about everything's gonna have to be addressed on it. Need a new windshield. Got the front clip, that's a $2,000 value. I've got another hood for it already. I've got rally rims. So just a few other little spots. Uh, I can get that whole back tail panel right there for $190 Corvette Mods, Dallas. So I think it's a pretty good deal. If I do say so myself. I can fix the fiberglass, replace the front end right there. You see it? So, <laughs> put the new hood on it, get it painted, get a new top. The new top's only 400 bucks. Bam. Put the rallies on there with some new tires, get it painted. And this thing's worth, uh, they go upwards. But I would say after I did all that, I would say, you know, about 30, at least 30,000. Yeah, somewhere around in there. It'd be a nice car. I won't have that much into it, of course, so there's profit to be made. But I believe it's matching numbers motor, he said. But I'll check that out just to make sure. Get it running real nice. New radiator, change some hoses. Give it a straight tune up. One over, new exhaust. I mean, the whole nine yards totally do the car. And uh, hey, I could get it appraised. It might be in the 40s. Some of these I see going up that high, a little higher. Of course, they're big block cars. This is a 350. It's an automatic. Now, if it was a 454 with the four speed, then we'd be talking, wouldn't we? But it is what it is. And I'll deal with it. I think it'll be nice when it's done. Maybe somebody will trade me straight up for something I really want. You never know. Back in the trees. Really? I need to get inside, but I just... Yeah, it's got the bucket seats in the back. That was the original El Camino frame. Oh, that one. Yeah. The El Camino? I'll see. I'll see. Yeah, if it wasn't for those quarters. Well, I've got a whole nother body. That silver body that's over there. That fat piece? Pete's? Yeah. I'll see, I'll see. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to get another one. Matching numbers motor, right? There you go. Everything. Everything's done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? They will set up 150 bucks for that door over there. Oh, yeah? That's what that's one of the way. It's got a Corvette motor. Yeah. Check it out. The entire front suspension, the frame, everything's custom. Check that out. It's hard to say, but a bunch of metal work. Looked like they chopped the top on it. Yeah, I know. 
came up a little higher when you came in, but. <laughs> right? Now right here guys, I just walked out and I didn't know that he put a rope. He already had it started and he was using a rope. Now I tried to use the chain. He said, I've got it, this will work, we don't need it. And then this happened. I'm just glad it didn't hit this. Yeah. Some beach. So I went and got the chain. Well, it was hairy, but we got it in the back of the truck, finally. OMG. We had to use the tractor to do it because the cherry picker just crapped on us three times. I got you a strap. You strap across it, it'll keep it from moving.
down, got her sucked down. You now what, the chain's in the back? You're on the road. Appreciate it. No problem. Tighten that down. Yeah. Probably tighten this down. Yeah. I got a sink, some gojo. I'll clean you up. Sweet. Yeah. Appreciate you. And we're going to say bye to the 1968 Mustang Coupe. One of these days. On the next episode of Heart of Texas Barn Finds and Classics. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. OMG. Let's, uh, let's see what we can't do. Now check this out, guys. 1954 Corvette. Been sitting in this barn since when, he said? Uh, he was 20 years ago. Perfect. Yeah, he rebuilt the motor, the transmission. 